Hello everyone, it is Friday night. I'm Kyle Bossman. Right now we're doing a little poll, you can see big on the screen, about which game we're going to start with between Jumanji and Scrat. Uh, our live audience uh, is voting. I think even like the people on their phones are able to vote by chatting one of the other ones or something like that. They have to vote and then a number. Uh, I'm just learning about Twitch polls today. I'm not sure if it's really better than straw poll or not, uh, but there it is. Uh, you'll find it in the chat window if you are interested in voting. Twitch polls are new to me. Yeah, I kind of think we're getting fewer responses than we would if we just did a straw poll. I like the timer, though. I like I like the immediacy of this. We have, you know, like a t two more two one and a half more minutes to determine if we're if if Scrat can possibly overtake Jumanji. I like this. Uh, let me grab my water. Ooh, how we doing, Chatteroonie? This is gross. Don't don't let your bottled water do that. It feels so gross. It feels weird. Aquafina, you did something wrong there. Something went wrong. However, if that glue is like, if it's for the environment, if that's biodegradable glue, I'm sorry. I take it back. It's worth it. You should be embarrassed. I can catch up on uh, subs and resubs too. We can do those. Let's do that. Ooh, baby, stop calling me dum dum dum. Um, Streamlabs, baby. I'm just like Pokimane. She uses Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs. Okay, okay, let's go back seven minutes. Pwn all of you, 37 months. Uh, Bry Guy, 27. Ginger Poe, two years. Nice. Uh, B Boy uh, says The Bossman Saga. Not sure what this is a reference to, but I like it. Omega Link, 20 months. Uh, Deputy Dangle, really enjoyed today's box peak. Those last couple of minutes got a big reaction out of me. That's the most I could ever hope for. Thank you. Uh, Blue Armed, 32 months. Dame Bill Feynman, 19. Uh, Chris Tune, 15 months. I Sanchez, hello allies, hello. A beard man gets paid. Uh, <laughs> did you change it to beard man? <laughs> or did I misread it last time thinking it's board man? We gotta figure this out. Uh, or there could also be somebody named board man gets paid as well. Anyway, Cheese Holidays, 22 months. Uh, Space Dom, Kyle, did you know that the deluxe edition of Jedi Fallen Order gives you an orange lightsaber? I did. I wanted to know if there is story DLC. When I went to the deluxe edition, I'm like, okay, what do you get? Is there a season pass? And it's like, no, you get an orange lightsaber. It's like, okay, I'll pass. Uh, Goaty Locks, 29 months, three badges and 11 hours into sword. I'm really enjoying this game. Sobble gang represent. Cool. We'll talk about that. I did not choose Sobble. Uh, Sweeney, 43 months total. Uh, Alan Riku, seven. Deficient Monkey, 36 months. Draco, 17. Dare I say, 35. And the Golden Triforce, 20 months. Whew. And then, did Jumanji win? I missed it. I think, I, I think, yeah. Oh, and the poll just disappeared? What? Now what do I do? You can't just make the poll disappear. What? Chat, it just, it, it up and disappeared. View results, okay. <laughs> Stupid Twitch. Ooh, Jumanji just beat it by two votes. Cool. All right, so we're going to start with Jumanji tonight. Uh, let me do that. Let me tell Twitch that we're playing Jumanji tonight. TGI Jumanji, baby. Ooh, Jumanji the video game? Yes, this is Jumanji the video game. Okay. We're set. We're good to go for that. Uh, would I consider playing the new Terminator game? Absolutely. Yeah. Huber wants to play it too. Damiani wants to play it too. Uh, we'll do it. I feel like Kyle picked Score Bunny. I did. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. You present me with those three Pokemon. And I know what I know what happens to two of those Pokemon. And I actually don't know what Score Bunny evolves into. Um Laden Jin, five months, thank you. Uh, Bryce, 
uh, 15. Thank you. Uh, I was look. I was thinking if I pick score bunny, Sobble will go to my rival and my rival will take care of that Sobble. You know, he will give Sobble the attention that Sobble deserves. However, that is not what happens. <laughs> Um, but I do not fear for that Sobble. I don't fear for that Sobble. I saw a smile on its face. What did you name your score bunny? I named him Al. Because I don't intend to have him in the squad forever, but I do feel like he's got my back. And he does. You know, there's been some situations early on where it's like, oh, this is a, this is a scary random fight to be in. Um, and so, yeah, Al is like, okay, let's bring in Al. And then Al takes care of business. And then it's, you know, back to, you know, my precious squirrel. I've not gotten my first badge yet. I just got to the first town. I have not played the game a lot today, chat. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the squirrel is absolutely my favorite. Love that thing. Just love her to death. I named her Morgan. So I just have this, like, beefy squirrel. Don't even hint at what she evolves into, chat. I'm too excited. Uh, but yeah, she gets most of, my, most of my attention. What type is it? Normal type, baby. Straight up normal. Don't sleep on normal types. Hey, we should see some art, huh? Let's look at some art. Are we starting too strong this week? Are we starting too strong? Hold on, Chad. I got to reorganize you a little bit too. There we go. I miss having you on my TV. Okay. Bada boom. What a woman, declared Eon. The end. Here are the <laughs> Love is love. You know what? Love is love. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Bada boom, what a woman, declared Eon, the end. Mayor McFrumples, you did this to all of us with your gif. You did this to all of us. We're all affected. Hey, Eon, when did you get so tall? Oh, that's because it, I, it took some time to get you all out of the illusion. This is me a hundred years later. You might remember in one cutscene, Eon, for some reason, was just huge. Um, didn't seem right. In the time since our last meeting, I also got a new power. Oh yeah? Does this new power have a name? Of course. It's named Zarouge! JCF. What did you do? <laughs> Look at her abs, man. And what I love about a JCF piece is there's some thought put into this, right? So the right arm has like the sickle, the left arm has the drill. <laughs> so, like, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, Zarouge. Uh, studio internet problems haven't been fixed yet. It'll probably be another month before we're allowed to turn on our fiber internet that is now uh, installed into our building, stupid. You gained one level, uh, Evelyn. Yep, you nailed it. Though I feel like gaining one level for the whole snap, that's brutal. <laughs> Kyle's noisy neighbors, thank you for 42 months. <laughs> JCF is my uh oh. <laughs> I like that expression. I like that expression a lot. Grandstream Saga level progression. Many people die in a, in a catastrophe. The Despat crew punish, or perishes. Oh no, not Jeel. Laramie, show some affection. We lose a little XP for that. <laughs> a random soldier explodes in front of you. Max it out. Gandor dies. You use genocide on Slazer. You sacrifice Arceus' seal, soul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... 
Uh, if you missed last week's stream, we learned that, in fact, we were leveling up when people died because we were, at one point in our former life, uh, evil. Um, so yeah, when people died, it did actually power us up. And we did, in fact, uh, sacrifice our love just to have, I don't know, stronger abilities. You gotta do what you gotta do, chat. You gotta win the fight. Bill Com six, six for seven. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to read them, right? <laughs> uh, okay. So this is an actual quote from the video game. To me, you are not only a magic tower, but also a good friend. <laughs> and really what the artist here did was add, I think Jones's face from the Easy Allies announcement video. I think that's him looking at lightning, if I'm not mistaken. Linky Binky, thanks for 18. It's good stuff. <laughs> uh, one moment, there we go. OBS is not being cool about me litting, scrolling through the pieces this week. You good, bud? There we go, ooh, okay. Uh, we got an Ezekiel piece. You know I'll always say yes to more uh, mama stuff, just from H. This is him clearly on vacation. Ezekiel on vacation. That is, it's you know what, it's disturbing. Yeah, another mama piece? Heck yeah, no artist attributed to this, but yeah, it's really cool. I think we have a third mama piece coming up even. Okay, so <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Uh, these are, this is all Laramie. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening, but I like it very much. What can I say? Thank you, Woo. I think this is what you do with memes. I think with memes, you just take them out of their context and remove the logic and create art. And I think you nailed it. Don't call me brother, but yes, I am your commander. This was pretty close to some dialogue as well last week. Slazer had to die. Yeah, look at this sweet piece. From the little kitten bit. Um, I might have to enhance because there's some details you got to see here. Um, so th this is uh, Randall Flores. You know, he's got his little secret lab where he watches anime. Um, and of course, Mama has some awareness of that somehow. Um, look how sweet the sloth is. Just waving at us. Um, the book right here is Techromancer. Great. And if there's, I hadn't even enhanced even more. I don't know what the other book says. Lover? Chat, does that say lover to you? Okay, we gotta find it out. I love the DVD player, man. Just watch some anime. The author of Techromancer is K. Bossman. Yeah, I would write that book. Oh, it says love and. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. So the book beneath that says love and. It's cool. Is that Batman? No, that's Mama Ebo Show. Get it together. This is cool. This is, um, uh,. Leonard Cousin, a.k.a. Lo McLoa, will, at the end of an arc, kind of recap everybody else's pieces, you know what I mean? Like, draw draw the characters in the style of those people, which I always think is, like, kind of really cool and respectful, right? Like, even, like, Pixel Cod, every Eon is here. Um, just, you know, recreating every other... I mean, like, a little, even little little kitten bit over in the left-hand corner. Um, uh, you know, we got a couple of... Uh, uh, I forget what he's called, a spirit beast... And then we're all the way back around. 
And then that's it. Okay, so if you would like to submit any art, <laughs> submit to true art at easy <laughs> Thumbnail for blood. Blood! Get the thumb, blood! <laughs> Get the thumb! I thought about it, chat. I think it's... I think it's... The art was not intended for arousal. <laughs> I think the nudity was not intended for arousal. <laughs> so it might be okay for YouTube. This week we had to officially click a button that says our YouTube channel is not for kids. Is one missing? Mm. Maybe. Let me know. Uh, in the meantime, it is time for... Did Jumanji win? I forgot already. I think it did. It did. Jumanji. Let's play some Jumanji. Beep, 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 dee, 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 dee. Okay, so I don't really know a lot about this. Is Box Peak marketed for kids? No, it is not. <laughs> Outright Games. We all know Outright Games. Great studio. Why shouldn't I sleep on normals? Uh, normal type Pokemon are, the, you know what I mean? They're just, as you would say, they're the blue collar Pokemon. Normal types are the blue collar Pokemon. They're out here doing tackle with stab. Underappreciated. Hold on, I'm gonna try to fix my webcam. I'm gonna be slouching a lot tonight. Just aware of that. So let's just do this now. Kyle, why Jumanji? So tonight we're playing two licensed games that don't exist anymore, you know? This is weird. This doesn't pop up too often these days. Um, it looked like a kind of cool game. You know what I mean? Like, I, I looked at, like, uh, the How to Train Your Dragon game, and I'm like, no. Almost, almost, but no. This one I am genuinely curious about. Genuinely want to see this thing. Um, I was the one who said Concrete Genie was my goatee. Appreciate your final word on the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating Concrete Genie. Sorry that I did what I did. Um... After watching episode 7 on YouTube today, I got a bunch of kids' show recommendations. That's YouTube's algorithm, baby. YouTube doesn't get it. <laughs> Delta Kanucky in 43 months, thank you. What kind of couch is that? Google Big Lots. After I watch Box Peak. Oh yeah, I just read that. Alright, let's um let's see what this is. Alright, I'm already presented with an interesting decision. I don't know. I don't think I want to watch that tutorial. I hit yes. I hit yes for you, chat. This is for you. Welcome to the tutorial. Intrepid Explorer, I'll help you get familiar with the controls. And oh, of course the objective. Yeah, baby. You can look around and move in any direction. That's it. Oh Warning, yeah. You can sprint to get out of trouble quick. Chad, I'm I'm any any movie game where you get the right analog stick? I'm excited. I'm pumped. Dude, chat, what do you know about Jumanji? <laughs> it's like Gears of War. What did I, what did I shoot? Oh, that thing. Nice. Okay, let's do the thing that it wants me to do. Right back up again when you stop sprinting. When next to cover objects, press vault to get over them. While moving, you can also press and hold vault to make it over multiple cover objects. You cool. Can also slide in the open or slide into nearby cover. Gene Rain, walls, baby. Fences and tall objects to use as cover. Can I find Shrek Shack? Shoot we'll try to find it. Pressing fire. Try and hit the relics. I already did that. I already did that. Oh, your QA testers didn't try that? Okay. All right, we'll move on. Maybe there's another Let's one in here. Find these pieces. 
Nice. Hold aim to zoom in and shoot with accuracy. Do you think they tried to make it like Fortnite? No. I don't think they did. I think that is a stronger Dwayne Johnson uh, likeness than you're giving it credit for. Though those stormtroopers do look good. Chad, did I break the game? I have the power. Do we have to restart? Nice. Shooting these relics can earn you bonus points. You need okay. to find the four okay. Jumanji game pieces. We're good. We just had to go in and out. And progress. Hmm. We need to find four game pieces. Okay. Ooh, nice. So the game wants us to find four missing Jumanji pieces. Chat, what do you know about Jumanji? Dwayne the Knack Johnson is too much. Stop yourself with that, chat. <laughs> That will get you banned. That kind of behavior will get you banned. <laughs> Dwayne the Knack Johnson is a bannable offense. <laughs> Great! You found all four game pieces. Go to the safe room now. Okay. So this is weird, right? Like we have special powers with cooldowns. Collect health, grenades, and charges for your weapon if you need them. This is crazy stuff. Give me that. Whilst holding the jewel, stand by the Jumanji door to open it. Good. Jumanji door. The door. Don't worry if Cody, hell yeah, 40 months, thank you. They will be teleported inside. Dumb but in a chill way, exactly. All of their lives will come back to life in this room. Fun while it lasted. Keep the jewel near the obelisk to power it up and open the next exit door. Okay. If you're too far from an obelisk, though, it will stop powering up. Whenever you receive the jewel from a teammate, it will make your weapon powerful for a short time. Is this a multiplayer game? For too long, Jumanji will strike and damage you. To avoid being struck, pass the jewel to a teammate. Nice. Shoot your weapon by pressing fire. Try and hit the bad guy. I just want to be on an adventure. Enemies can sometimes drop charges or explosives when they are taken down. If you don't have any charges left, you can use melee to scrap with enemies. Try it. I think I got him. This is mine, not yours. Back. Good job. You can what is this music? At a group of enemies and any hiding behind the cover. Oh, it's that boombox that she's got on her back. Oh, chat, this took a turn fast. This took an unjolly turn. Nearly there now. Just finished using the jewel to power up the obelisk. Fantastic! You've mastered everything! You're definitely ready to battle and save Jumanji. Ice Age is coming, baby! <laughs> the Ice Age is coming! We just gotta get through Jumanji first. Uh, Julie, working with my weapon now. Scrat night, baby. TGI Scrat. <laughs> Oh no. What is what? Oh no. I did not do my homework. And obviously I never do my homework. That's the point, right? But, oh, no.
Okay. Friendly AI on. Difficulty medium. Here we go. I mean, Ruby Roundhouse, right? Ruby. <laughs> Chat, shall we move on? <laughs> our heroes have arrived. We're on our way to the snow capped mountains. There are some twisty and treacherous inclines in this part of Jumanji, with plenty of bad guys all over the place especially at the heavily guarded fortress. But I'm sure you'll return the jewel to its resting place, no problem. In the spirit of Ice Age, can we listen to that song that you made it out of with the Ice Age McDonald's toy? Mm -mm. Special occasions only. You should try and kill your team, good idea. It was a good idea. Did I make a mistake? The rock got in my way. I got it. Get points, baby. How's the shooting though? I don't mind it. I think this would be a really cute little game if it was just like your little cool little 3D platformer, you know? Just do some Jumanji stuff. Someone take it, take the duel. What the? Yeah, take that. I don't want to be doing this stuff. I wonder, honestly, if it started off that way and they're like, okay, we have five environments. How do we salvage this into a game? How do we do this? Is the monkey on our side? I think the monkey's on our side. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. My bad. Just one more to go. having so much fun hey can you sound more like mr black health over here peeps oh ah. hey you see that mm, yes <laughs> Ooh, I like that kick. That was cool. Yeah, the monkey's on our side, chat. Right, the monkey's cool. I got it. I like that I have a gun that has infinite ammo. I don't mind that. Just a cool crossbow. Ooh, that's weak. Fun while it lasted. You're right. Okay, we got the four game pieces. Here we go. And then we just defend the crystal. Close to the obelisk to power it up. That's what I'm doing, Jack Black. I'll be needing this. Oh, yeah. Someone just said, I'm going to use my healing ability. Alright. Thank you for healing. 
I just realized I am like two thirds dead, aren't I? Oh, okay, this guy's he's a big boy. Jack Black's doing great up here. This is exciting. I got skills. No, I did that. Great, just what I needed. Manjita Rashi, 25 months. I think we just have to time our moves. Ooh, okay. Okay, Chad, this isn't over. We just have to time our moves. Got it. Three left. Don't need it. This is what I want, baby. They put this stuff in the trailers, right? And you're like, oh, cool. It's a dungeon game. Good stuff, Kyle. I'm glad I don't have to share the health packs with friends. Oh. Yes. Just one more to go. Jumanji is a lonely man's game. <laughs> Manji, you just gifted a sub? Yeah, thank you. I chose the wrong character. That's on me, chat. I, res I ex uh, accept responsibility for that. Get close to me. I can heal you. Stop that. Shut up. Let's get that headshot, baby. Pass the jewel. <laughs> it went so bad that this guy gets in the way. <laughs> oh, stop this. Stop this game. How many bad guys are there? If you're lining up your shots, you're wasting time. So what do the crystals do? What do the crystals... You see how it says 50 charge in the bottom right-hand corner? Crystals are ammo. Oh, so I don't have infinite ammo. Got it. Thank you. It's just no reloads, which is nice. Good to know. Thanks, chat. Cool. That monkey's stealing my kills. Um... Martial artist and dance fighter. Aww, I was having so much fun. I don't see it. I guess we have to watch the movie chat. I got it. I've got smolder. Weapons back to normal. So the boom box, right? Does it just distract the enemies? Is that really all it does? I kind of like this environment, to be honest with you. <laughs> Bad guys throwing grenades. Stop that. Chad has never played this game? I thought you liked video games. Yeah. You did it.
I'm asking like you've played this, and also, for some reason, chat, I really presume most of you have seen Jumanji. For some reason, like... I'm not gonna shoot that bear, get out of here. You seem like a Jumanji crowd. Gotcha. How's Friday going? Pretty good, pretty okay. <laughs> Not great to be honest, but yeah. We're getting by, chat. We're getting by. It was a good box peak premiere day, you know that was fun. It was fun to do episode seven premiere. Just one more to go. Okay, and I think this loops around to Bear Spot? Weird. Okay, so that loops around to there. We Whatever, we got what we needed. We got all the Jumanji pieces. Kyle, got past the second gym and I'm loving shield almost as much as emeralds? Okay. Whoa. So here's where I'm feeling with, with Pokemon Sword right now. Is like... Well, it was great while it lasted. I like... It is incredibly disappointing, but like I'm in this mood where I'm fine playing a disappointing Pokemon game. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it can't hurt me, you know? To me, like when I started it and like the first moment I'm like moving around in my house, um, I'm like, the console, the console Pokemon game, I imagined, is not this. You know what I mean? It's not even close. And then once I accepted that, you know, I'm able to have to stop it, Jack Black. I'm able to have, like, fun with the game, you know what I mean? It's not even close to the game it should be, but the game that's there, it works. I was, so at some points, shocked by how low budget it is for sure it's a low budge game but in some ways it doesn't matter you know what i liked a lot is the first area it's got like four new pokemon and a bunch of which i haven't even seen before like even watching all the trailers and everything i had not seen that squirrel Whoever has the monkey companion was probably the person to pick. Don't be mad, but I named your Sobble after me. Your Sobble after me, I am mad. Too late, I'm mad. You made a mistake. Oh, they dance. It makes the bad guys dance if you're close to them. Okay, worth it. Worth it. No, we're good. I guess I could use more ammo. Got it. Would you recommend Digimon Cyber Sleuth Collection over Sword and Shield? That is such a Sword tough question. Take the duel. I'm gonna say, if I'm talking to mm, uh, just anybody, you're probably going to enjoy Sword and Shield more than those Digimon games. Gotta pass the jewel. Stop passing the jewel, we're fine. I love Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I love it to death. But... We have to fight bad guys and deal with this? I'm not sure I can call it a great game, you know? Got it. Three left. Chat, quick question. Quick, serious question. Um, 
Have these ever existed in dungeons in real life? Is there a historical precedent for this? Swinging blades. Um, have I finished sword? No, I don't even have my first gym badge yet. I've, I've barely, barely started it. Like, oh, look at him go. Go for it, mouse. Yes, if you count movies. I'm not counting movies. I want to know if such a trapper ever truly existed. They existed as a torture device? Oh, that's just like the inevitability of it. Just like, okay, that's going to be cutting up my tummy soon. Go for it, Shelly. I'll be right at, I'll be right there. Okay. I feel great. <laughs> All right. How legit is this game? Not very, but I'm I'm got to be honest. I have a feeling that won't be the last trap room on our little I'm Not having a bad time. <laughs> Actually, I need more grenades. Load me up. There we go. Ooh, this area looks very similar to the last one we were in. Does this go on forever? You ever played Rayman 2? Long time ago. I'd be willing to play Rayman 2 again. I played it on my cousin's PC. Okay, let me move... this. That's distracting, right? Let's put you there. And then we can move me down a little bit, too. Gone. Sorry, buddy. I, I knew slaughter. this would happen. Well, it was Ooh. great while it lasted. Yeah, you can make these guys spawn, huh? They're all over the place. I got it! <laughs> all right. The rock's power is so much better. I, maybe I just don't utilize mine enough. Ooh, nice. Where's a good place to leave feedback for streams? Great question. So I read almost every comment on almost every stream that I do. Um, so on YouTube, I'll def definitely read those. But if you mean feedback for not just me, blood kind of takes a lot of the feedback. Um... And then Damiani will ignore your feedback. Mm, yes. So I would email Blood. Trailer Jones is a good call too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got him. How does that affect my mental health? On YouTube, the comments for streams are so good. Watch out. I see bad guys. <laughs> it's like 10, you know what I mean? Because like, these videos, when you upload these streams to YouTube, they don't get a ton of views or anything. Um, and so it's like extremely manageable. And then everybody's just kind of nice or funny. Why do I like this game? Time out. So Why would I possibly enjoy this? Do I thumbs up some comments on YouTube? Yeah, if it comments like funny or particularly nice, you know, I'll give them a little thumbs up. I got it. Hey, you. What's happening here? Why do I like this? One less bad guy. This makes no sense. There's like two different enemies. <laughs> And the bear. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. Huh? this is so dumb. Yes. Got it. You get a lot of points for killing those things. Yes. Just one more to go. I got it. 
How often do I give likes in Death Stranding? Um, I've made zero progress since the last time we talked about Death Stranding. Um, but I remember being pretty... I remember mashing like when I got the opportunity to. Nice chat. Snipe him. Oh. Oh. Man, what's with these guys? It's like they know I'm looking at them. Yeah. <laughs> Duh, buddy. Oh boy. Yeah. That was a takedown. Weapons topped up. Okay. Look lively. Bad guys incoming. Nice. Got it. I think I would enjoy this less with friends. It's kind of like how like how I uh, got to watch the Dragon Ball Z movie by myself and regretted that 0%. It's like, I don't have to worry if my friends don't like this. Because they clearly won't. You know what I mean? I just get to play this. There was no Silver Squad this week because we didn't have internet. It sucked. It just went out. Um, we did get... Fiber internet installed that'll be like extreme business class and cost 10 times more than what we're paying now um, But it's like the dumbest thing. It's like a, a, a huge process to even activate it uh, Despite the installation having already occurred um, But yeah, we're in the process of that And uh, it definitely hurt us this week Like, game design-wise, this deserves a three, right? Yeah, I get it now. I understand my power now. Sorry, Rock. Forgot about our main mission here. Just gotta make the thing go up. Now they're after me. <laughs> now they're after me. Don't let him take the jewel. Ooh. Okay. 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 We almost died there. Look what they're dropping on us right now. All these big boys. Good work, team. Which ally would I say has the most similar taste in games to me? Great. Just what I needed. That's a really good question. The jewel hurts. The jewel hurts? It hurts. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm looking for grenades right now, chat. We'll find some. Don't worry about it. I feel great. It's tricky. I really can't think of like who I really vibe with 100% on, on game picks. I think that monkey got 99 kills. 
How do you get double the kills of anyone else? Was it the monkey? How do you get 99 kills? I'm jealous. Well, what's my rank? I don't even I don't even know what my rank is. Play online to gain rank? Nothing says that. Nothing says that. I'm about to get cranky on this game. What did I do all that for? I'm about to get cranky on you. Chad, is that really des the design of this game? Can you not progress unless you play online? I mean, there's no even like online option. It's like every other online game ever, but it's not on. It's not online. I can't tell it to be online. When did you? S Fellow adventurers, I have a dark quest for you this evening. Return the jewel to the statue located at the end of this city. In the wrong hands, it could spell a never-ending nightfall, which would be terrible indeed. Oh, I almost forgot. There are bad guys lurking in the shadows as well. They will do everything in their power to stop you from completing your objective. Kilo Wasabi, okay, thank bye. you for 43 months. I'm... Go, go, magic monkey. Go, go, magic monkey. Oh, it's gross. Oh, that's a gross monkey. We gotta go. We gotta go. Mm-mm. That's an uninstall. And that is a uh, uninstall. Delete, please. Delete that game. Uh, let me change the game that we're playing. We better get a platinum for Scrat. This better be a platinum. Wow, there are a lot of Ice Age games. Let me actually, let me turn my notifications on. It's pretty crazy uh, when you say that I will accept the review copy for Death Stranding. You you promise to turn off your notifications and like you make positive that no one can see you're earning trophies for Death Stranding. There he is. There is Scrat. I'm probably gonna have to move these two once we see what their UI is like. Can you check the trophies for Jumanji? Yeah, I guess I can. I'm honestly... Whoa, hold up, hold up.
same same studio. Forever young. Thanks for subbing. I feel like we played another game from Outright Games too, right? I've seen that the intro before. And we know... Oh, okay, look, chat. This one's not going to be online only. This is cool. I like this kind of thing. This is good vibes already. This is already great vibes. Transylvania! Yes, Golden Triforce. Well done. We played Hotel Transylvania 3, and that was really fun. And I did play Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchiridion. You're right, I played that too. Oh yeah, baby. This is the stuff we're looking for. Your offering has activated the challenge of Scratazans. Long ago, this temple was constructed to harness the power of four powerful items, the Crystal Nuts. To find the mightiest warrior, the Crystal Nuts were scattered throughout the land. Legend tells of a champion who will turn them all to the temple and lead Scratazans into a golden age. Oh, this is very good, chat. Frankly, I expected somebody a bit taller. With each crystal nut you retrieve, you will be granted new abilities to aid in your quest. Judging by your blank expression, you will need all the help you can get. Oh, and then we just go. Now we're talking, chat. Why does he look... How do we describe how he looks? It's like they were going for fur, but the sharpness was turned up to 10. It looks... I don't want to touch him, you know? I don't want to touch him. Okay. Let's do this, baby. Ooh. This environment. Do you know what vibe I'm getting? Shadow of the Colossus. Same kind of intro. Shadow of the Colossus vibes right now. <laughs> Was Transylvania any good? We got, I think we got the platinum for that. Right? Did, no, did we not get the platinum for Hotel Transylvania 3? Chat, I'm going to get that crystal nut. Ooh, th oh, this frame rate. Oh, oh. Brutal. One down, baby. That wasn't too shard. You know what? You know what I think we need? Man, this is so weird. <laughs> why? Chat, why do I like this? Why does this perform so poorly? What was their target? Were they targeting next gen? So this will be cool. This will be one of those powers we get later on.
Are there enemies in this game? Um, I can do this. So I'm gonna say yeah, we'll get some enemies eventually. Look at her health, it looks good. The health meter in the upper left, it looks really nice. Should have played the PC version, maybe. Chat, I uh... Ooh, that was nice actually. I spent $80 on these games this week. You know what I mean? You buy you buy Scrat and Jumanji right after another? You just spent, you just, that was 80 bucks. Keep going. There we go. Got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> and so, like, PlayStation sends you an email. They're like, thank you for your purchase. Thank you. You you just bought Jumanji and Scrat. Thank you for your purchase. Well, you're welcome. I'm guessing we can't open that door yet. By the way, I like how much exploration we get to do. Oh. Mm, baby. You thought Manny wasn't in this? Which costs more? They cost the exact same amount. They were both 40. Oh, baby. This is going to be good. This is going to be a good video game. I can feel it, chat. I can feel it. Look at this, like, super meter that's filling up, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Here's what's cool. Does EZA pay for those? No, but I mean, you do it as a tax write-off at the end of the year. So, I mean, like, kind of helps at the end, but yeah. Uh, I have no problem spending $80 on a fun stream. You know what I mean? It's worth it. Super Lucky's Tale, I would probably play. But here's the... I... Chat. This is sick. This game just let us explore. It didn't care. Look at this diagram of the wall jump, you know? That stuff is nice. Uh, Arch3737, new sub, thank you. How are the controls? Um, I would say there's probably... You can kind of hear me press jump. I'd say there's probably a little delay here. Um, it doesn't feel like Mario tight, right? But I think we're going to have an okay time. Controlling Scrat. I think we're gonna be. A, I think we're we're gonna be fine. What genre do you think your game maker game will be? Three D platformer. I gotta be honest with you. I don't feel comfortable making a three D platformer. Fun. I would probably make more. Adventure games. It's hard. It's hard. To, it's legitimately hard to make a game with. And then we got a we got a porter right here, right? Is that what you are? Checkpoint, probably. That's like fundamentally fun to play. It's actually super hard to do. Uh, Mr. Filippo Bruno, another new sub. Thank you. Everybody's showing up for scrat. Forget about Jumanji. What was the deal with Jumanji? What was the deal with Jumanji? Why didn't it even like give me the option to play online? Was something broken? I'm s I still don't get it, Chad. I'm going to be thinking about that as I try to fall asleep tonight. Snorkel Dolphin, 14 months. <laughs>
Like, how fun is collecting shards? The AI-friendly option was on. Oh, so if I turned off AI, that means I want to play online? Is that really the... Ugh. Mm. Okay. So this is our porter. Cool. Yeah, sorry, chat. I love this game. Sorry, you scoundrels. Here's your enemies. Phantom of Vanitas says, Online in Jumanji is available for all consoles, except PS4, which will be released sometime this month. And they didn't even have the nerve to just put up a message when you load it up. It could have just... It could have just said, bloop, bloop. Hey, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. Um, no, Chad, I don't feel too bad. Like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, we got all that. We got all that. Oops. I think from, like, subs and resubs that pop up during a stream... I think you make more than $80. Maybe not me personally, but easy allies, you know what I mean? Like, it's an easy to justify cost. Ooh. Scratch smash. Are you dead yet? Oh, I, I bet we gotta stomp him once it shows us his belly. Or no, it just takes a certain amount of hits, okay. Scrap for Smash. <laughs> no one has any of the online trophies for Jumanji yet. Oh my goodness. You can't do that. <laughs> and they're just getting away with it because nobody cares about the game. <laughs> Nobody's mad because nobody cares. Oh, that's too sad. The studio is like, wow, they're they're gonna rake us over the coals for this one. It's like nobody cares. Oh, okay, all right. Feels bad. Jumanji is not worse than Prism. I was just like, if I started unlocking stuff, I probably would have kept playing. My secret sense takes us this way. That's it for us. So I got a question. Um, is there any indication? Ooh. Bridge baby. Is there any? Oh. Um, any indication that I have a certain, the right amount of shards, I wonder. I wonder if there's a set amount of shards per level that we have to collect. G-Force, heck yeah. Where'd... Chat. You're looking at something. You're looking at a video game right now. That... That subtle... Sound effect when you hit a checkpoint. Oof. Mammoth chat. Why am I having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I having a good time right now? Oh my goodness. G Force is on Disney Plus? Well, now we have to watch it. Just good vibes. This game has good vibes right now. I would love a double jump. I hope we get a double jump at some point. 
Sorry, Scratly. There we go. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Nice. I thought that would instantly kill us, honestly. How's the Spider-Man and Animated Series rewatch going? I watched the first episode. What was weird is, it was the first thing I watched on Disney+. Plus. Only thing I watched on Disney+. Plus. Um, and episode one was like part five. No, excuse me, part ten. It was like, uh, the sins of our fathers, part ten. And then episode two was the actual episode one for Spider-Man. I don't know what happened there. Nice, Scrat. We got the combat system down, buddy. Is it out of order? Just that first episode. For some reason, they had the first episode list, like, the 50th episode listed as number one. It was how you clicked on it? Oh, okay. Okay. So look at the prompt at the bottom of the screen right here. Oh. That's a real issue. People are reporting many shows out of order, including the X-Men. Huh. They'll get it right. Okay. So here's what I'm... Oh, just press X. Okay. Great. That was what I was concerned about. I was like, do I have to mash it? Do I have to direct it? Nope. Just press X. This is a fun game. <laughs> We're not here to hurt you, just have fun. It's like, okay, thank you, Scrat. All right, we gotta get back there somehow. We saw the secret, we just don't know how to get there. I love killing these beetles, too. Chat, today is a good day for me and squirrels. Good squirrel day. I'm sure Scrat is something else entirely. <laughs> oh, man. He's a very good video game character. Underrated video game character. I'm gonna nominate him. How many Ice Age movies have you seen? Maybe two. Tailspin over to it? I think we gotta go around? I don't think this gives you much distance. I think it's just to attack midair. I don't think it gives you a lot of extra distance. I'm willing to try for you though, chat. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. I think you do. You do get a little extra on that. Okay. We can do this. Let's go, Scrap. Chat. It's the Manny, too. You're good, chat. You're good. Not as good as a nut. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Not as good as a nut. Stop that. Scrap. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to be doing this more. Yeah, that thing's clutch. Good suggestion. Thank you. Okay, we got a lot of beetles to squish. <laughs> the challenge level is low. Oh, good. <laughs> Give me that. 
<laughs> Thank you. All right, there's something mysterious going on with that thing. Look at that. We're going to figure that out once we get up there. I think that is an ability we don't have yet. Runes chat. <gasps> this game rules. This game rules. This game is sick. Why did they make this game so good? to atone for Jumanji. Why did they make this so good? What's the story of this game? What's the story here? This is, uh, the spin is replacing my desire for a double jump. For sure. Yeah, we do get, we get a little boost after that. Sorry, I was checking out that slab. Girl, are you checking out that slab? Yeah, I was checking out that slab. Kyle enjoying this more than Pokemon. <laughs> it's all about moods, chat. Sometimes you're just in a scrap mood, you know? Okay, that's on me. Should have done my little twirl. Will there be bosses? Good question. My guess is yes. I mean, this is pretty good level design, chat. This is pretty good stuff. Somebody who cares about level design designed this game. Oh, that's a silver chat. So, uh, Father Cashew, I'm way into games where you are small in a giant world. I'm not way into survival games. And so I think that would be my hang-up with, uh, with Grounded. <laughs> so janky. <laughs> It's so janky. <laughs> Not even a problem. It's a feature. Hey, chat, no music. Is that part of what makes us enjoyable? Oh, ooh, oof. We gotta come back. Chat, write that down. Write this down. Hey, what happened when we filled up our meter? I missed it. Oh, 
that's gonna kill me. The trophy? Oh, okay. Your health got bigger. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. We'll be back. We'll be back for a chat. We'll figure out we'll figure that out eventually. My bad. Oh yeah, this is... Look at this. This has come back later when you got the double jump. Look at that. Okay. Or... or can we... Nice. Never mind. We're equipped for that now. Dude, I love Scrat. little view of where we used to be. This is the kind of stuff I dig big time, chat. I dig this big time. Chat, how's Star Wars? I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not, like, ready to play it yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the time when I will. Are you digging it? You can kind of see down there now. Still installing. Star Wars is sick. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to be playing that game. Okay. So, it has some tech issues, so maybe it'll be good that I'm waiting. Um, I think it takes... It just takes, like, a mind. It, it, I'm, I'm just excited to be playing the game of someone who... Uh, puts a secret under this. Under this ramp. You know what I mean? I'm excited to play your game. I get you. You get me. We have a relationship. <laughs> you're talking to me. And I appreciate what you're putting in there. We're dating. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Do you, do you see the purple in distance? Was that a checkpoint? I gotta go see. I'm, I'm actually confused about what I see in the distance there. What am I seeing? Oh, we haven't been there yet. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get there. We'll get there later. Uh, Project Asshale, uh, nine months. Thank you. What's up, you vultures? Nice. They are just above acorn height. Oh, wait, I had it. I had it. Okay, we can't do it. Is this X 60 FPS? Uh, no. <laughs> so I am thinking now that it's there probably isn't a trophy for collect all of the shards. There's probably one for maxing out your health mo health meter. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, I think they're safe. Am I reviewing this game? I'd give it a 9 and it would make Bloodworth uncomfortable. It would ruin the system. Jordan Guy Person, 42 months. This game gives heavy Fallen Order vibes. Cool. Oh, 
Ooh, looks we, we missed a box. I'll go back for that box. Oh, a third. The challenge increases. Little kid bit, 10 months. Can you use your nuts on the enemies? Oh, this thing. Yeah. I don't feel great about my aiming. Okay, here's the thing we saw from the distance. Oh! Sorry, I got my controls mixed up. Alright, let's try to throw a nut at this thing. I think it's a spawner, chat. Or maybe once we kill enough, it'll crack open. Maybe it's a demon door? That was a gold trophy chat. That one's gold. How am I just discovering the roll now? <gasps> and then he jumps out of the roll? We're we talking DK right now? Oh no. Oh baby. Timing is definitely different. You have to actually press R1 again in the middle of the roll instead of the end of the roll like DK does. <laughs> just drops it. I like that. <laughs> if you don't throw it, he just drops it afterward. <laughs> okay, what do we do with this? This might be a comeback later scenario, too. There's a whole cave behind it. Yeah. We might come back to this later, chat. Nothing I can do with this right now. Kyle, you would really like Jack and Daxter? I have a platinum for Jack and Daxter 1, for sure. I love that game. And then they kind of lost me when they were sequeling up. You can get a Platinum and Jack 2 in 5 minutes due to a newly found debug menu. That's so interesting. That's really cool. Thoughts on Knack? I like Knack 1 more than Knack 2. I wouldn't call them good games. Chat. We're just breaking a man. But I like them. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing here. I missed two tablet pieces? Oh yeah, they're probably like those things that we need cool secrets to go get to. Good that we have fast travel though. That's good. Wow. This is so cool. What does Platinum Bells mean? Uh, basically, we had a stream called Platinum Rush, where I'm just trying to get the Platinum in a given game. I'm close, and all I need is a few more trophies. And so, every time we get a trophy, we play the Platinum Bells song. So we're kind of playing it now jokingly, because I don't think we'll get the Platinum in Scrat. But every minute I play, I just like the game more. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. This seems to do no damage, by the way. 
Oh, it does do damage. Snipe him, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is a good video game. You know what I mean? They're designing it, and someone's like, Hey, I think it makes the game a little easy if you're able to snipe the Beatles. And the director said, I don't care. Let him do it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> let, him, let him do it. <laughs> Love that. Ooh. Where are these mongrels? Those things are mongrels, man. Is this game better than Spyro? It is not better than Spyro, but... I'm having a great time. I'm gonna do my spin, but I'm not actually positive we'll be able to do anything once we get up here. Yeah. Okay, cool. That might be another double jump spot later, right? That looks suspicious to me. Could be nothing. You might enjoy transforming space buggy world tour game. It's a PS1 called, game called Infestation. And they're space buggies? Okay. Has there been a good Harry Potter game? Many. There's actually been a lot of good Harry Potter games. I'm gonna see if the uh, this works on the mongrels. Ooh. Mongrels tossing nuts. Honestly, I think sniping these guys is the fastest way to kill them. Is that leaked Harry Potter game still happening? You bet, baby. <laughs> it's just next gen. You know what I mean? When, when it was leaked, it was like, hey, you won't see this again for a long time. And I did not believe that. And it turned out to be true. Huh. This actually seems like the way to go. Secret up here. Hmm. This seems like the way to go, too. <laughs> Scrat's having a good time on this nutty adventure. All right, and that's a checkpoint. So we're going to go back, actually. Is it this way? Oh, it's another one of those. Okay. Okay. Scrat, you okay, buddy? There we go. Were they each $40? Yeah, this was a $40 game. Okay. So, yeah, that's an ability we will get eventually. We'll be able to open those doors. Write that down, chat. I don't know. I think he's got... He's got like zero... Vulnerability during his combo. I don't know when those beetles could have hurt him. I 
I don't think they stood a chance. Scrap for Smash. Yeah, man. Put him in. I think Sakurai would be disgusted by this game. But I feel like if we could have a conversation about it, he would at least get it. There was like one frame there where we saw the inside of Scrat's mouth. I don't know what that was. I don't know. We had like one extreme close up there. This poor soul likes nuts very much. <laughs> the poor souls thing was very funny to me. Okay, so we need two of those. We need to find another futuristic. How much creative license did they have with this? This is crazy. There's some suggested ancient technology here. This is wild stuff. Okay, yeah, we just need to find another. All right. This team was allowed to do anything they wanted. Oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Man, just think of Scrat right now. Just think of this guy. Think of him right now. He's just down to do this adventure. He's picking this thing up. Ooh, baby. He is a good video game protagonist. I'm feeling for him right now. That was easy. Chat, we're gonna life up again soon. Did we go that way? I think we did. Oh, there's the box, though. Gotcha. Huh? Just dig this big time. None of it has seemed too repetitive yet. Maybe we'll get there? But like so far I'm like pretty interested in what the next environment will hold for us. You know? Like here's a whole new idea, right? Beetles seem a bit tiresome. Yeah, they are, for sure. They're not actually super fun to kill. This reminds me of one particular room of Graffiti Kingdom. It struck me in that moment. I hope we gain the power to murder these things later, you know what I mean? Just like... Kamehameha waves. Weens! 27 months. Forgot to resub last month. I've done it too, to be honest with you. <laughs> Twitch does as much as it can to remind us, and it's still like, oh, I forgot. Sorry, Twitch. And I forgot we're small. We are a squirrel. So those, those, the scale of these things kind of makes sense.
Where are the acorns? Right here. Pop, pop. <laughs> the noise he makes when he gets health is so good. So cool. I mean, I mean, look at that chat. We've been seeing that pillar forever. We're getting closer and closer to it. Oh, it's so good. Somebody cared about this game. You should be commended. We should commend you. And I bet they like refreshed IGN. You know what I mean? I bet they refreshed IGN and they're like, did they notice? Did IGN notice how good the game I made is? You know? Chat, here's my, so my question to you is, did IGN notice how good this game is? Ooh, nice hit. Chat has so far not been able to confirm that this game has an IGN review at all. IGN review. You know, like, bummer. That game designer's like, okay. No, I get it. I just, it's not the same market. I just thought there was maybe a chance. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would. It's a busy, it's a busy season. I didn't think they would. These will get more complicated, we know it. For now, we'll take the easy shards. Tall talk, Kyle, but where's the easy allies review? <laughs> What would it take? I think most easy allies would... Oh, you know what? I gotta. St I thought this thing would crumble. We gotta hang out on it. I actually really like this. I think if it's a small game, it's because one of the easy allies was interested in it. You know? Oh, man. Just dig this. Nice sweet little world we're living in. Scrat life, baby. I should utilize this more. If we're speedrunning this, like... I don't need to run over and hit those crates. <laughs> a little sloppy. It's sitting at a 49 on Metacritic? Ew. That means people gave it below a 50. You know what I mean? Who did that? Why would somebody do that? Unless maybe it gets super broken or something, but like... I don't like that. That bums me out. It actually hurts me. I guess you could mark it down for the performance. You know what I mean? And there's like, there's, there, there's just no defending it. 
Sorry, I just saw that mammoth. Cool mammoth. And the price. It's 40 bucks! It's not 60! Pokemon thinks it's a $60 game. Man, I missed us getting the health bar again. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, oh, you're cruel. You're mean. You're mean. And those rings are back there is cool. Is Scrap better than Score Bunny? Score Bunny is actually really cool. He's actually a really cool Pokemon. I like him a lot. I like his uh, standing pose. Idle animation, I guess we would call it. Whatever. Let's see how we're doing, chat. Okay, two more chunks. And then we're going to go to some, like, end boss thing. And then we're going to get a new power. <laughs> the boost. They call it the boost. <laughs> I don't think it does damage, actually. Ooh, hold on. There's a new prompt, though. No, same prompt. Yep. Does Jones know you picked Score Bunny? It's gonna confuse him too much. We can't even tell Jones. Don't tell Jones. Oh, Chad, how do I... Sorry, I missed one. Chad McIntosh, do we think this game has made more money than the Joker premiere? <laughs> It certainly hasn't. Um, how do I get a farfetch? Like, just tell me like root number or something. If it's a spoiler, you know, like, I guess we got to be careful about it. But I am curious about where I can find one. Because I got to the open world, or the uh, the right analog stick area, right? Is that where I need to look? Can't miss it, no. So it's maybe after the first uh, town? I'm gonna be a nasty boy about it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to catch a Farfetch'd, and if it doesn't have the right um, personality type, I'm gonna release it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be nasty. Route 5. Okay, thanks, chat. Between, between gyms 2 and 3. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, that's valuable information. That sets my expectations. Can't you change nature now? I guess you can. Chat was telling me something about changing natures. Okay, there's no reason to jump over the log. Just checking. The speedrunners don't want to know that. Super late game. Okay, yeah, exactly. I don't... <laughs> It's just so sweet, chat. It's just so sweet. Ooh. Nice environment, man. This is so cool. I will not be breeding Farfetch'd, no. I'll, I'll simply be trying to catch one with the right stuff. Um, and then is there a trick to turn it into a Surfetched? 
Do I need like a special item or something? The surfetch thing is hard to figure out. Okay, so if you're scared about spoilers for this, head out, but I'm I want to know. You have to get three critical hits in a single trainer battle. Interesting. That is hard to figure out. Huh. Okay. So there's obviously some moves you can use to manipulate that. But, um, good to know. That's kind of weird. You know what? It's kind of dumb. Let's be real. A little hokey. It's neat to come up with new evolution terms. Um, that one's hard for me to justify. It reminds me of Pet Power Quest in Dragon Quest XI. Oh boy. Yeah. I eventually gave up on him. I eventually was just like, the rewards for these quests aren't worth it. I'm good. <laughs> Red Sky, you're not going to be happy. Chat has not been happy so far. Yeah, we're going up this way. We know what those tro- Oh, I guess we can't go that way. My favorite new Pokemon is the Squirrel. Did I beat Dragon Quest Eleven? I did. I did, in fact. Like, I get it. That's what the fighting... That's what the combat is like, and so that's why you have to give it a bad score if you're a reviewer. I get that. I get that. I get it. I get it, reviewers. I get it. It just hurts me a little bit. There's so much evident love in this game. Ooh, do we have a puzzle chat? Do I want a Galar Ponito egg? No, gotta be honest. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, not my kind of Pokemon, I guess. Cool. I'm going to try to make it mostly new Pokemon. Obviously, we got Surfetched in there, which is just an evolution of Farfetched. Kind of cheap, I realize. But for the most part, I'm going to be wanting to pick it out. Ooh, Scratter up, chat. Am I going to be on the next frame trap to talk about Pokemon? I believe... Not. Static Silva, two months streak. Oh, 33 months. Nice. Um, because Ben's leaving soon? I actually don't know what his schedule for a frame trap is. Nice. You can dodge while zoomed in? Now we're... Oh, okay. Bad number. Not only that, not only that, these guys play Street Fighter. These guys play Street Fighter. Um, I did not read Eurogamer's review for Pokemon, nor anybody's, honestly. Um, what'd they say? Is it, is it, is there something going on with it? Sound design's a little weak. I hear ya. I hear you there, too. I did not like the noise that those things made as they died. Oh, 
Okay, all right. And the lock-on for the nuts, the acorns, is it's not great. It's fun when you get one, though. Yes. Cool. Now, normally they'll give you a thing for missing a jump, but no, nothing down there this time. I like how, like, one out of maybe every 20 jumps, there's a little spring sound effect. It's nice. Ooh! Write that down. Write that down. Chad, are you ready? Open your ears. Uh, Toy Story 3, the game, is better than this game. It is. Nothing we can do about it. Let me actually, let me try throwing a nut through that. Let's see if that activates it or something, you know? Nah. That's that's some ability we'll get later. Not just our ears. Our hearts, too. Is Toy Story 3 better than 2? I think so. Toy Story 3 is essentially two games. And so together... Toy Story 3 is better than 2. But 2 is so good. I really want to play the Dreamcast version of 2. You dumb bug. Don't you know I have acorns? Who are you looking at? Yeah. You should have hid like your friend. Are you changing out Pokemon on your team more or less frequently than previous games? I am, um... Dang, we need the double jump for this. I simply can't get up there. I'm not catching a lot of Pokemon. Oh, and then we would have hovered over there. Cool, we're fine. We're good. Um... Mostly just... Killing Pokemon and getting the XP. There's very few that I'm like, yeah, I need to catch that. It's like, I know who you are, buddy. I don't need you. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Our first missed crystal chat. Reset. <laughs> well, that was so weak, but still kind of fun. What game? All right. I was pushing my luck there anyway. <laughs> I was pushing my luck there. There's our boss fight, chat. Boss fight arena, baby. Let's do this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, we get it. Got it. We have dodge rolls now, chat. Welcome to Dark Souls. Let's get him over here. This is sick. I thought he was charging. I want to get over there. I want to throw an acorn at him. 
There we go. Too soon. Wait, that did damage. I'm gonna kill you with acorns, dude. That does a lot of damage. How embarrassing. You're a big, cool rhino. You're gonna die from acorns. He's not going to die from the forest. No. Mm -mm, I see you clipping. damage? He makes an excerpt, as if it does, right? <laughs> I love this. Acorn's doing so much damage, dude. Overcorrected. Okay, he's steeled up, really. Scrat. This is awesome, man. They made a boss fight in this game. I like this. This requires bravery. I had the bravery, but not the timing. Camera, help. Camera. There we go. Yes! Scrat wins! He did it! <laughs> Look at him strut, dude. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. The scrat strut. <laughs> Don't you throw poison at me? Spinning bug kick. Ancient Ice Cliff. So this is this is the last circle, I think, in the upper left-hand corner. We need to address the fact he's clearly throwing snowballs. Oh. Yeah, these are snowballs now. Have they always been snowballs? Changes depending on the terrain. Okay, all right. I felt very crazy for a second. Um, yeah, Dan on the Couch is going to be here next Wednesday. Uh, Tara Evan, uh, 41 months, thank you. Um, we're going to be playing Sword and Shield. We have a whole plan. We are going to be raiding all the new Pokemon. 
Um, at least that we've seen so far in our save files. We are going to guess which Pokemon are in each other's team. We are going to give our top five moments and top five, bottom five moments, worst five moments of our playthroughs. Oh, we need a ground pound. Oh, we got one. That was cool. And then we're going to play randoms online. And that's not next Friday. No, I won't, I won't be here next Friday, in fact. So that'll be next Wednesday. Okay. Choices. Okay. This is pretty clear what we gotta do. Are we randoms? I don't know. Can we... Is that easy to do? As in four days Wednesday? Yep. So this, this coming up Wednesday. Dan seems confident he'll have the game beaten. I'll probably beat it too by then. I'll probably just put in some time this weekend. And he gets really into doing top five, bottom five lists. It's a total Dan thing. He's ready to do this kind of homework. He'll like text me sometimes and like make me do stuff like that. Like, okay, give me your top five Marvel characters. I was like, what? And then I can't, like, continue a conversation with him until I give him my top five Marvel characters. Yeah, look at this. What is this thing supposed to be, even? What am I throwing? What is that? Muddy gravel. You know what? That's what it is. Muddy gravel. That's what the design document says. <laughs> and then in this area... Ooh! No idea. No idea why we got that now, but we got that now, baby. So Scrat, Scrat, was that muted? It wasn't on this time? So it's like popping up every other time. It's so weird. Let's do it one more try. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Chat, I don't want to deprive you of the platinum bells. Love caves, chat. The Nerdazoid, 30 months, thank you. Yep, you hinted at that really well, I like that. Oh, baby. Ooh, yeah, it's a good video game. <laughs> Kyle, if you told yourself two years ago EA would make a good Star Wars game, would you believe it? Yeah, <laughs> I honestly thought it would have been um, Battlefront.
EA didn't make a good Star Wars game, Respawn did. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I get it. I forgot you can move while you're doing this. Oh, this is so sick. Action time, baby. I'm not coming close to hitting him anymore, but it's cool. Are you hissing at me? Alright, I think I need to move up to actually get the angle on him. Yeah, I mean, to EA's credit, they did buy Respawn. They saw the talent and, and, and paid up for it. It's not like they lucked into Respawn, you know? Oop. I wonder what we did for that. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, mongrels. Sick. Gears. Take that, you broomack. chat. Ooh, poker. There we go. I think I want to go back down. I think we went the right way. So I'm going back down. Oh, but look at this. Looky here. Another one of those things. Okay. So that's what's up there. I'll get this crate and we'll go back up. arrows. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what powers Scrat gets. They promised us powers. Ooh. Just a little reward for jumping over the log. Was Anthem next covered on the podcast? No, that was news today. I think that broke today. Um, but man, I don't know if I'll be covering it next week. You know what I mean? I wonder if it will be old news by next week. I want to believe... I want to believe they can save the game. You know what I mean? It's, something I, it's not something I want to be cynical about. But... I don't know, man. Do you like that you've underestimated hard achievements and overestimated easy ones, or would you try and change that for next season? I see comments about it. No way. I love how this season of Achieve It Yourself played out. There are people who are like, people have to submit video evidence of themselves accomplishing achievements. Then my favorite episodes would not have existed. If people did that. So no, that's a big no for me. They want to erase my favorite episodes. So cool, man. So cool. I'm gonna snipe these bugs, too. Let's do some bug sniping. How am I feeling about a potential Season 3? So here's the thing. Easy Eyes miniseries was not meant to be this thing where it's like... Kyle will produce and Ian will edit a show every four months. You know what I mean? We're, we're supposed to, like, you know, share the load. I would love if the next Easy Eyes series that is eight episodes long is not another thing I have to do. <laughs> do I think that is realistic? No, I do not. I do not think that is realistic. But I don't, I don't think we'll go straight to another Achieve It Yourself at the same time. How long is Prison of Love? 
I think it's gonna be six Fs. I think he's doing six Fs. And he is making a lot of progress on those, actually. Um, I think Prison of Love will be, you know, early for $5 patrons. It's not gonna be one of, like, an exclusive series. And actually, I don't know if, like... I don't know how much more we'll be doing exclusive series. I don't know if that's, like... Because the current way we're doing Achieve It Yourself is kind of nice. Where it's just a week of exclusivity. It's something I, don't, I actually don't think we've had the conversation since putting out Achieve It Yourself Season 2. And it'll be interesting to hear where everybody stands on the rollout for this. Um, I do think that... Spoiler mode probably will stay exclusive for a long time. I think that that gets results. Maybe there's more immediacy to it. I don't know. But, like, when a big spoiler mode comes out, there's just a spike in patrons. Whereas, like, it's like, um... Let's hit that F. Hey, we got a new weird series. It doesn't really spike the patrons. I think it makes patrons happy. Um... But, yeah, I don't think it, like, draws in new people. And so I think, like, the, the thing that we do now... Was it Together We RPG exclusive? Yeah, I think that was maybe meant to be the exclusive thing for this. Oh, look how nice this cave looks. Beautiful, beautiful cave. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, great caves. Oh, game. You're so cool, game. Look at you. And there's our pillar. Yes. We're further from the pillar than I thought we were. Um... Ian and I have been making some plans for Together We RPG. Oh, dude, yes. Um, it is incredibly unlikely we'll see that series this year. The plan was for winter, so maybe we'll still hit winter, right? but we're not going to hit winter 2019. Or was it fall? Was the plan for fall? I can't remember. <laughs> What happened to Ian's synth streams? Lay the pressure on. What did happen to those? Question, Ian. Where are the streams? Where are the synths? I mean, I think it would probably be a pretty hard setup. And I can tell you just from, like, premiering Box Speak episodes and just the, this discomfort of not knowing how it sounds sucks. Not knowing how it sounds on your end is very uncomfortable. I wonder how other streamers do it. Like, you know, there's streamers who stream music. I guess you just ask questions, and you just trust your chat. Ooh. Do I know if the next Don's Design Lab has started filming? I know that it has not. That might not hit. That might be 2020 for the next DDL, too. Are any of the other allies involved uh, with Together We RPG? That's been <laughs> being a little public here. That's been the problem with Together We RPG is uh, group interest, <laughs> and so it's basically like Ian and I figuring out a way to actually produce it. Um, I, we don't want it to be just the two of us. Oh yeah, so Draco. I definitely plan on having Banjo Tazoo Banjo Tooie on the list of games that we'll vote on next, but I have decided over the course of the last week that for the rest of this year, um, I'm just gonna be goofing off for like you know uh, single stream nights. So we won't start our next full playthroughs on Friday nights until 2020. 
um, when I was in Germany, I got to do a guest stream with my friend Anne. She's going to be here the, for the Game Awards. Uh, so she's going to be here that Friday. So we got to figure out a stream that I can do with her. So that'll be one of the Fridays. You know what I mean? Next Wednesday is Dan. So, like, there is just, like... There wouldn't be enough consistency, I think. Dude, I can't wait till we can go through those rings. For the rest of this year. And so I'm cool with just goofing off for the rest of the year. We're gonna have to do a Garfield stream, you know? Are the Allies planned to stream the Game Awards? Yes. So, yeah, here's the plan for that. Is, yeah, we'll do live, we'll do live reactions to that. Uh... Jones will be there in attendance. I'll be working there. Jones and I, after the show ends... You know what? I could have thrown an acorn at that. We'll be um, driving back to the studio to record the podcast. Now, who will be on that podcast? Not sure. I think Ian is down. I'm not sure who else is down to wait after doing live reactions for me and Jones to show up. No, Keely parties after the Game Awards. Keely is not into <laughs> driving to the Easy Allies studio <laughs> to record a podcast. Mikoto, 14. 43 months, thank you. Is there less of an interest in general for working on new produced content among the Allies? That's a good question. I think no. I don't think it's interest as much as, like, just being busy. Well, I mean, no. Uh, I guess it's... Like, Damiani wrote a message that said, Hey, I'm like... I'm a streaming man now. You know? He, he kind of said that. That's where his enthusiasm is. And so, I mean, for that one person, yes. Um, there is less enthusiasm in produced content. Um, but no, like... I think maybe the work Ben puts into Don't Skip is underappreciated. That's really been his initiative as part of Phase 4. Dude, what is happening there? Oh! I had the camera in the wrong spot. I was so concerned about where I was coming from. I missed where we were going to. We're, we made it to the pillar, chat. Look at that. Cool. Is this game worth getting? I mean, it kind of is. <sighs> is this game two-thirds of the value of Star Wars? Probably not. Right? Like, you, you probably have some other games to play through first. Look at his little footprints. But I like this game. Legit like this game. Have I done an Xbox Game Pass grab, ba grab bag? No, I have not. I think it's because I... On Tuesday nights, load up the PlayStation Store and then watch trailers, you know? And so when I'm, like, I don't... Whenever it's grab bag time, it's just because I've, like, lit a bunch of games stack up. We see you. So it would require me to turn my Xbox on a lot more than I do currently. Chat, do you feel this noise? And there is a little bit of music. How nice is this? John is K, that's funny. I think you're the third person to recommend Super Lucky's Tale tonight. I'm willing to check it out. Oof, just feels cool to be up here. Uh, not yet, I learned. Not yet. Okay, let's do this. Take me. Great. 
You are a great video game. Is this game on Switch? Good question. I mean, it performs this poorly on PS4. It makes me a little nervous about Switch performance. Why'd he let go? Why'd he let go? You can roll through crates. Souls. Oh, cool. This game is too good. Oh, I misjudged that. Sorry, Chad, I thought that one was closer than it really was. So sick, so sick, so sick, so sick, so sick. Yes! Oh, ring's over there. My bad. What is my power? It looks like a double jump, right? Like some sort of like hit the ground, spring off. That is our story so far. We see the rhinos, right? The falling after picking the thing up off the cliff. Whoa. Impressive, you retrieved the first crystal nut. I did not expect you to make it back in one piece. As promised, your hard work will be repaid. I give you the power of the double jump. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! I accept this power! Yes! Oh. What I wanted, chat. Is this game canon? I believe so. Like Wizamo said, this is canon. So cool, dude. Nice little training area, right? Didn't overstay its welcome. So I think the hint was... Can we go to another one of these? Yeah, give me the ring power next. Let's do this. Give me that power. And then we go back to the center? Is that what I did last time? Yep. Sorry, that was me. I paused it by accident. Ah! 
So my only complaint was, the next crystal nut lies freezing cold, lies across freezing cold waters. You'd better bundle up. Um, I kind of wanted to go grab that nut myself on that peak over there. You know, I feel like they kind of robbed us of that moment. We went straight to cutscene and it was like pretty deep over there. I love this overworld, man. <laughs> oh yeah, you can really grind these things. Does Ring Fit have a chance to win Best RPG of 2019? It does not. Um. Okay, I'm going to do a research break, chat. But I kind of want to teleport and at least get this one, right? This was frustrating to me. The others I think we actually need rings for. You know what? We should... You should come back when you're fully stocked. It doesn't really make sense to knock them off as you go, because it's not like it really, like, levels you up. It seems that the tablet pieces don't really, like, make you a better character or anything. So, yeah, I, I think it actually doesn't make sense to backtrack. Okay. All right, well, I, I will do a research break, and I will do the next level. I'm in. I'm up for it. I want it. I want to do it. Uh, all right, let me mute myself. It will be right back. This is by the zoo, what I had this morning, I don't even wanna say to you. Kick, punch, draw, and jump the door. Kick, punch, turn, and jump the door. Oh, I will fall to the floor. Oh, I will fall to the floor. Kick, punch, draw, and jump the door. Kick, punch, turn, and jump the door. Oh, I will fall. Scrat. Double jump, baby. Ooh, okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, love it, man. Love it to death. We have options now. You can do that and the double jump. Yes. Yes. Oh, Optimus. Daddy, we like Optimus. TGA has to be packed this year because E3 sucked. <laughs> Did you go see the first Ice Age movie at the theater? First reaction when it, when it eons with Scratch. I remember laughing so hard the entire audience. That's so funny. Um, Scrat, by the way. Please, don't never call him Scratch again. That's offensive. 
He wouldn't, he would not like that. Um, I do remember him being like wildly funny. What a strange memory to dig up. Did I just say daddy like? Op or sorry, Megatron said daddy like. I didn't do it, Megatron did. And you know for sure that Megatron would say daddy like. Um, is that mammoth eating watermelon? Is that, a, is that watermelon that it's eating? Oh, yeah, I think it just put one in. Yeah, it's just eating watermelons over there. That's crazy. Man, this is the key to speedrunning, is that R1 business. I gotta get better at that. Okay, the first one's a gimme. Alright, so this is mean. This one, just putting it right here is just straight up mean. I don't like that. Curious if you can do a roll jump into a double jump tailspin. Let's see. Yeah, you can double jump after the roll. Cool. Advanced techniques, Chad. Advanced techniques. Good stuff. Chad's playing the game. Ooh, yeah, look at that pillar. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, okay. We have some stuff going on over here. Yes. Good stuff, chat. Why'd they make a mammoth who's just eating watermelons? Is that a reference to one of the movies? Uh, the Dan on the Couch Pokemon stream will be Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Pacific time. over at chat i don't even know what's happening right now scrap what's going on bud okay we're good <laughs> i have no thanksgiving plans this year i'm going to be premiering a box peek up oh, that Friday. So I think this year is just like a no Thanksgiving's not a big deal year. And the family's got to understand. There we go, scrap. Use your moves, bud. Game rules. I never played Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> that would be a fun stream. <gasps> Brad's in chat inviting me to his family's Thanksgiving, which is too kind. Okay, we can do this. We know our advanced strats. Here we go. I goofed it up. Oh, we're good. We're good. We got it. 
Chat strats, baby. Okay, now how do we get home, little Scratly? We can do it. Brad, I think I would be so weird during an, another family's Thanksgiving. No. Ooh. Oh, scrap. Okay. Okay. Hey. Chat? We'll take him. We'll take him. We take those. Brad's in chat saying, I still sit at the kid's table, which I think is pretty sweet. Love the wilderness noises of this game. Big time. Nice, Scrat. I'm loving this game. <laughs> I'm loving this game. Nice preview of the next area, too. I like this. Ooh. Have we had a camera movement like this before? That was kind of sweet. Baby. Ooh. You know what I'm smelling right now? Ambition. I'm catching a whiff of ambition. Wow, dude. The game has just begun. The music kicks in here. So cool, man. New enemies, chat. I know a lot of you were excited about some crab enemies. We got them. Yeah, we'll see what's over here. Kyle and the Sly series. So I did play through Sly Cooper 1 when they did the PS3 re recollection. Collection. Um, oh, so now I get the impression it's not going to be just, like, unlocking it. We're going to get in the power to, like, push this. Um, I got that plat for Sly 1 and 2. 3? Didn't like too much. We'll be back. Uh, uh, game. Stop that. Okay. Snipe. <laughs> Never had a chance, you stupid crab. They're spiky, dude. Simply a very good video game. We have to, like... What is going on with this ancient culture? There are no humans. On the planet at this point. This is crazy. The lore here is is something for me to handle. It's a lot. 
I think they take damage even when their claws are up. I can't confirm this, but it seems like it. The first movie's central plot point is a human baby. <laughs> totally forgot. Um. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I don't think I can feel that, kill that fish. I think it's merely an obstacle. I'll try for you, though, chat. Ooh, it did lock on. Yes. Yes, Optimus. Daddy, like. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, Megatron, you gotta stop that. <laughs> Fish, are you okay? Oh, yeah, you're okay. Imagine having to fight Megatron and he talks like that. Is that from Beast Wars? Yeah. It's like episode 8 or something. Pretty early on. Okay. Straightforward. I think is the right way to go. And this takes us to a cool secret. Let's do it. Thanks for tuning in, Brad. No, I'm going to come back and snipe you later. Kylie just drove Brad away. <laughs> Brad's going to be thinking about that bit all night. Look at this chat. It's so cruel. Ooh, there's some mongrels in there. Cave mongrels. Yeah, so what's cool is this seldom happens in a 3D platformer where there is incentive to defeat every enemy. And I feel like there's actually high incentive because whenever we fill up the circle around Scrat, our health meter goes up. I feel heavily incentivized to kill enemies, which is pretty rare. I like it. Do you think a Beast Wars reboot would work, or is classic Transformers the way to go? It's gonna be hard to reboot Beast Wars. You'd have to let me do it. Because there's, th there's a tone you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to do surgery on the tone. You know what I mean? You have to be so... Precise with it. <laughs> you can't goof that off. It's it, Honestly, it's too difficult. I would go classic. I'd go classic just because it's so hard to get Beast Wars right. How would I reboot Beast Wars? I would make the character models almost exactly the same and use a new lighting engine. I would make them look exactly as disgusting as they used to look. <laughs> I would make it canonically that is just what they looked like in that world. <laughs> and so Optimus Primal is just a disgusting looking gorilla. <laughs> And he would absolutely say, well, that's just Prime. Two out of three episodes. You have a really good chance of hearing him say, well, that's just Prime at the end of an episode. It's his catchphrase, yeah. Um, and then Megatron's catchphrase would be, yes, Optimus, daddy-like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And it would just be so annoying to have to fight someone who talks like that, you know? Yes. Ooh, yes, daddy. <laughs> So cool, Chad. I mean, that's where we started the level over there, right? So neat. Love this kind of stuff. Really good environment here. Oh, sorry. This is Nash. Yeah, I wonder if there's, like, endgame. There's this, like, cool puzzle that we slit all of our tablets into. Tablet pieces. to gain access to some cool final area. Haha, <laughs> you stupid crabs. You wish Transformer games would be good again? I kind of want to stream... Man, I gotta add this. I have so many games that I want to stream. I want to stream the one that I tested. And I accidentally bought the la the wrong one. Because I get Battle for Cybertron and War for Cybertron mixed up. Or Fall of Cybertron, I think is the name of the game, actually. Sorry. So yeah, I, got, I mixed it up. I, got, I picked up the wrong game. The one that came after the one that I tested. But I think it'd be pretty fun to replay through this Transformers game that I you know, used to do QA on. I can show you all how to break out of the barriers. Devastation was pretty neat. Yep. Also, there's the PS2 game that's just called Transformers. Also kind of cool. Minicons were like the gimmick of the new series and like the minicons actually have a kind of cool implementation into that game. It's cool. So yeah, I mean, the civilization is like things that look like this. Where did I get the DJ Hero turntable for? Um, I thought about streaming it. I, uh... I bought it because it actually was like dirt cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was way, way less than I expected. Um, and I played it for one night and had a bad time. I was like, oh, yeah, this game. This kind of sucks. It kind of sucks to play. It's like a rhythm game that's so imprecise. Okay, so we know that there is a limitation to rolling off of a cliff. We can't play around with that. We can't Donkey Kong it. I like the song that's like, Fix up, look sharp! <laughs> it's funny, I remember that. Um, latest Box Peak episode has been rattling in my brain all day. That's the highest compliment you could give me. There was no Silver Squad stream this week. Oh, and I, asked, I saw somebody earlier, actually, I totally forgot, ask if there's going to be a make-up for it. There won't be. We'll just do it again next Thursday. Um, we lost power. Or, sorry, not power, but internet this week for almost a full day. It truly stunk. But, but a business near us also lost their internet. They couldn't, like, use their credit card machine. And so I wonder if that is Spectrum or not. I wonder what the deal with that was, actually. Is Box Peak appropriate for 12-year-olds? I think I will show it to my students. I would... I would just watch it. I would watch it first. <laughs> so this is cool. This is... We need to be able to push those blocks, and we need to do the ring. So it looks like ring is actually going to be... After push block? No, we know this is... We're getting ring next. Huh.
I once had to design a performer's scrat costume for a theme park in Asia. This is incredibly interesting already. I had to give him human proportions so the person could fit inside. Needless to say, it looked weird. I wish I could show you, but I never saw the final product. Oh, the think of the legs, chat. Cool job. What else do you design? That's a cool thing to, des to design. story is there some adult humor sprinkled in no I don't do adult humor I do concept art currently drawing a half man half sheep person cool really cool Daddy doesn't like adult humor. <laughs> Ooh, Optimus, no. <laughs> You've taken it too far. <laughs> Oh, good grief. <laughs> Go in. Yeah, we need that power chat. You get a new power after every uh, chapter, basically. So we can't do a thing about that yet. Love our double jump, though. We just earned the double jump. And you don't even know if they actually use the attractions. That's so funny. Oh. So you can roll and then fall and then do the double jump, but I don't think we can double jump midair. It's weird. I'm gonna... It's worth trying. Let's try it real quick. Can I do... Yeah, he just falls. He just falls really fast. Ah, yeah. I think it's not designed to DK it. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We tried. It's super hard to not to just grind in the wild area. It's so much fun. That's funny. I like the wild area a little bit, but at a certain point I was just like... At a certain point I was... I guess I was like, okay, the game is kind of hinting at me that it's time to go do stuff. You know what I mean? There's not like a lot to do in the wild area, I guess I would say. the top streamer for Scrat's Nutty Adventure right now? That's awesome. Welcome. If you... Oh, there we go. We got an extended health meter. Um... Oh, baby. I kind of wish we got to go through that tunnel, but that's okay. Still cool. You ready for this? 
I bet there's a boss fight downstairs. Is that what they're treating us to? I don't know. Um, if you're a Scrat fan who just hopped in on the stream, welcome. I'm part of Easy Allies. is nine people. The other eight don't like Scrat. The other eight are just not into them. Why is Scrat stand so funny? I don't know, I think they're just like Pixar fanboys. You know, I think they just thought, think that like Pixar is the only people who can make CG movies. You've all seen them. You've seen the Pixar fanboys. Whoa, can we kill that fish forever and just grind for crystals? It's cool. Yeah, chat, sound designer tried to do something with the combat noises. There, you can tell there's an idea there. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. You want to be kicking a crab and for it to sound like... That's the sound I want. Ooh. Oh, that's just a corner. Oh, you're mean. You're very, very mean. It kind of seems like once you get all the powers, you go through the entirety of every level. It's actually too hard to remember, like, each of those spots. And they don't seem, like, very close to warp points either. Maybe someone made a guide. We see you. Honestly. Okay. Uh, uh, eat. Okay. I think we gotta talk about how that's a pretty good hint. So we're going, we were going through this linear cave, right? Spoopity doop, spoopity doop, spoopity doop. You just get like a hint. You got a hint that there's a little nook over here. I wonder how you communicate that. It's so good. It's good stuff, man. I, I dig it. Here we go. That might make me smile for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Oops, shit easy. I was gonna do some sniping. We can't afford it. With Ice Age being owned by Disney, will we see a remake? Tell me how the last Ice Age movie ended, and then we can talk. Because I actually don't know the, s the status of the Ice Age characters. It is really funny that Disney owns Ice Age. Um, one of the producers of Ice Age, I'm gonna say producer, um, grew up like near where I grew up. And it's just one of those things where like the newspaper loves you, buddy. And so it's really interesting like how many articles you get about Ice Age and, and its success. When someone from a small town, and yeah, a small city, can make it big in Hollywood. Alright, do you think we're getting to a secret that we can get, or are we going over to a secret that we can't get yet?
from there to there. We see it. Nice, the secret we can get. Uh, and good camera shot on the hole that we're about to go into. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go in that hole. Aren't you in the local paper? I'm not. Did you hear Damiani's complaint that none of the Final Fantasy IX starting characters drew him in? Okay, buddy. Alright. I did not see that. I think you could make a case. I think someone could make a case for the characters not being interesting. But here's the thing. Damiani likes so many games that make it no effort <laughs> for you to be interested in their opening characters. Like, if that's your hangout with Final Fantasy IX... Why do you like 13 too? Why are you playing Final Fantasy 10? Why are you bringing Bioshock to Hall of Greats? If that's your hang up. My trademark. Two month there. Love a two month there. Thank you. Cool. Ice caves. I love this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if Queen of Quen is my favorite Final Fantasy character. We got a turtle, baby. Alright, we need the ring power. Dang it. How does this compare to the Yonoid game? Favorably. You ready, chat? Yeah, VV is very good. For sure, chat. What was that? I got so distracted by the treasure that I missed, I think, a giant beast. An aquatic beast. Okay. Which way do they want us to go, and which way should we go? Do you feel like you're on an adventure with Scrat? I really do. I think the backtracking would bug me. The backtracking once we get all our powers would bug me a little bit. But I truly feel we're on a nutty adventure right now. And Hedron, good luck with uh, not having nightmares. I'm, it is completely luck and 100% out of your control, which sucks. So yeah. Good RNG, hope for a good RNG. Why is there no music? It's occasional. They pick the right moment. Ooh, no, scrap. Teleport me. B. 
Beat me up, Scratty. <laughs> Gross. Um, have sweet dreams of Megatron. May we all have lucid dreams where we get to hang out with Megatron and ask him any question we have. Um, yeah, I kind of like the no music, to be honest with you. I like their use of music in this game. I mean, there it's very quietly there. There is some music playing right now, and somebody decided to mix it this low. You know, it's a choice. Vaughn is not a stubborn racist, unlike Waka. Earth painting. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy X. I need this take. What does Waka do? What has Waka done? What did Waka do? <laughs> what did he say? Does Easy Eyes do any type of D&D roleplay game stream, if not any interest? Really funny, Mars to Pants. So we used to do a D&D show. Weekly. Um, and I would say the creator of that show kind of just got burnt down on it. Um, oh, sorry, that's a mash. And I think... Man, you'd have to ask Ben... I think we brought up the idea of doing it live, and he hated it. I don't think he was into it. I think it's a lot of pressure and stress on Ben to DM. Um, but you know I like doing weird stuff live, so I'm not opposed to like doing some like RP thing live, some role-playing game live. Um, but I think it'd be hard to get us to do it on a weekly basis. Okay, so about Waka. Um, his entire character arc is that he hates all bed people and will constantly bring up how they are to blame for everything. The whole game? Don't you like- oh boy. Good save, Scrap. Don't you like meet Riku and then he's over it? Role play in the Ice Age universe. Stop that. I have to tell the tale of the people who built these ruins. Okay, that one down there. Have we seen that yet, or is that where we're going? The last Ice Age movie made 408 million with a 106 mil budget. Yeah, baby. Binghamton power. crabs here. How about a high school sweethearts reunion? Unlikely to happen. I think Jones and Ian keep talking about a Twitch thing stream like it's going to happen. The demand needs to be there. You need to remind those two that it's something you want to see. I don't think anyone else will get involved with that. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> Do I think a scrap movie would make more than Ice Age movies? No. I don't. Because it's hard to, it's hard, they're gonna, eh. you think of the Scrap movie trailer, there's a bunch of characters talking who are not Scrap, you know? Look, 
looks so cool. Ready, chat? Does Scrat need a girlfriend? I have a good feeling that they are, there is probably a scene where there's a, girl, a girlfriend for Scrat. Didn't they all get girlfriends? It's like the sloth just has like a girl sloth and the saber tooth tiger has a girl saber tooth tiger. Didn't that did that not happen at a point? Okay, it's confirmed Scrat has a girlfriend. Thank you for the confirmation chat. Yeah, but no music right now is nice. It's setting a tone. <laughs> I think the developers of this game might be smart. Do we know more about this, the actual studio, the people, the team who made this game? Aladdin on PS1 I've not played, no. I'm not playing Star Wars, I will eventually. I'll play Star Wars eventually, I'm looking forward to it. For now, scrap. Thank you, Melon. They showed Just Add Water in the opening credits, so they were mainly known for Oddworld Abe's Odyssey remake. Really? Huh. Good stuff. We gotta ride down there. Yeah, we can't open that door yet. Okay. Here we go. The scream. It's good. It's good. Oh, uh, it's a good video game. Oh, cool. Uh, remember we saw a thing? I said, is that where we're going or is that where we came from? It's where we were going. Some Naughty Dog stuff right there. So it's just F ramp. Oops. You almost got me again. Would I like to see Naughty Dog go back to 3D platformers? Weird question, but I guess I would. You know? Like, imagine just Naughty Dog coming up with, like, a trailer for, like, a sick 3D platformer. Ooh. What are the rules I'm talking about Pokemon? Great question. Um, we keep it very general, you know what I mean? Um... We don't get specific about stuff. Good dude, good stuff, dude. Kyle, you tried the new Holiday Mountain Dew? Arc Seraphis, I happened to buy two. I have one for myself and one for my friend, Dan, on the couch. Uh, honked off John, 38 months. Ice Age is a top 10 animation franchise and you know it. Now we're talking. Scrat stands in the chat. Do you think his expression in the upper left-hand corner changes as he dies more? 
Really, we don't lose a lot of health. We've had some deaths, for sure. <laughs> but it doesn't get too hairy. Hey, Hab GT. 38 months, thank you. Are you taking Dan anywhere fun while he's in LA? Probably not. Because we'll go to we'll visit our friend who lives in San Francisco over the weekend. That's why I'm missing next Friday. See this guy just chilling? He's just lying down over there. So what? We'll be streaming on Wednesday. Thursday, you know, it's a non-stop studio day with Easy Allies. Friday is the day we leave for San Francisco. After I premiere box peak um so yeah yeah probably not too much cool la stuff ready oh. tishan warrior thanks for those gift subs <laughs> it's cool man this is nice environments uh oh Dan will not be there for the box P Q and I told him to leave. <gasps> that was what you hinted at earlier. That's so cool. That was foreshadowing. Yes. Oh, time to go. Oh, and we're gonna fight him on this platform. Yes, dude. Are these things in the movies? Ooh, nice bite. Nice bite. Nice bite. This guy's not ready to take damage. He's got to fight Ornstein over here, chat. Okay. Okay, so he's metal now. I'm nervous. Legit nervous over here. Go, Scrat, go! What? What? What is this? I don't know what message I was meant to receive there. It's the best I could do, chat. You know, they're not Naughty Dog. They don't, they don't have that kind of animation budget, chat. Disney Plus is doing a spin-off show for Ice Age? Sick. I forgot we can roll. No, dude. Yup. Give me that belly. Uh-huh. Okay. This is scary. Nice roll, dude. Snap made me nervous. Okay. He's metal, he's metal. Go, 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 buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Get that belly. Where's it? Show me that belly. You gotta worry about your stamina, my friend. I kind of, I think that's more Scrat-like. You might have to tell me the reference. I don't get that one, actually. 
I like that instead of killing those things, they just got annoyed with us and left. I think that's more scrat like. Simon Pegg's character is what the show will be focused on? What does Simon Pegg do in, in Ice Age? He's not one of the core four. I just, like, I kind of dig it. Like, there's just so much weird fantasy elements in this. And, like, it kind of needs it in order to, like, truly have interesting things to be hopping around on, you know? They just went for it, dude. Oh, I need it now, too. <laughs> oh, it's too cute. No, oh, really don't need to go around there. Weapon X, 178, 14 months. Cool, man. The Frozen Dam. Would you play the Wallace and Gromit game on Xbox? Yeah, but I would make fun of Wallace and Gromit fans the whole time. So I think it'd be a good, pretty good stream. Ooh. Is that just a thing? That's just a decoration. I thought maybe that's like a new obstacle we can play around with. Close to our pillar? We can't be that close, chat. No, scrat. We're not gonna make it out of this one, buddy. We're nearing the phase on mines. Somebody made a Metroid Prime comparison early around in the stream. And I kind of get it now. I kind of see it. Chicken Run on PS1? You know I'd play that. You know I would play that game. That's the thing, Chad, is Samus isn't allowed to make cute noises. You know? She has to be tough non-stop. It's not easy to be Samus. She's not allowed to have multitudes. Oh, we see it, 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 we see it. How do we get that? Chad, how do we... How do we... We see it. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go around. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, it looks like we were gonna go around anyway. Okay, okay. Has Samus ever been voiced? Yeah! Um, Other M. Metroid Other M. Oh, okay, we need the ring power for that. Great. And she screams another Metroid, yeah. Okay, cool. So, when I was like, we can get there, we can get there, we can get there. You just had to come around. <laughs> Scream, man. Cool. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> I like a good abbreviated scream. You know I want to try it. I'm doing it. Scrap, baby. You can go the distance, man. He can go the distance. Hang out in another ice cave. It's so fun. I've played much more repetitious games than this. You know? I think the environments are really pulling me through. Because obviously it isn't the enemies and the enemy design. It is probably strictly the environments. Good secrets, too. It's fun to explore. You know, it's fun to just go in a nook in a cave. Um, I've seen retweets from perfectly cut screams. I have seen those. This makes you want to play Ratchet and Clank? Heck yeah. I get it. Man. Breaking a box and the nuts and bolts come like flying out of it? So fun. What's my go-to order at Taco Bell? Taco Bell is one restaurant where I do like to try different things, especially if they have like a new weird thing. Um, just try it for the novelty. Oh boy, oh no. We fell through the map there, but we're okay? Scrat, where are we? Okay. Okay. We're okay. Um. But I, I like legit uh, deluxe tacos, soft shell at Taco Bell. Sick. Make that a little meal? Heck yeah. <laughs> that was too nutty. I mean, it's kind of nice, actually, that they make it so... You can come back through the ground. <laughs> we could have died down there. We could have died down there! Scrap! What did Taco Bell get rid of? I assume we'd be coming back around for this stuff, right? Yeah, we still might be. Okay, I'll hold out hope. Chunks of ice now, it's so cool. Oh, 
Beefy mini quesadilla, chips and chalsa, chipotle chicken loaded, griller, double decker, taco cool ranch tacos, fiery tacos, locos, Doritos locos tacos, double tostada power menu burrito, XXL grilled stuffed burrito. Okay. So they still have regular Dorito tacos, you're telling me. Chat, I really like Crash and Clank Crack and Time. Cr crack and Time, excuse me. Uh, that is a really cool game. Cool. And then, yeah, we're back around. Nifty! You're my Nifty! Ice Age game! You're so Nifty! When you do things, I wanted you to do. Uh, I wanted to press square there instead of circle, chat. Did a butt slam instead of a slide. I'm not sure the slide would have saved us, this move right there. I, th I think it would have, actually. Chat, when you're playing Pokemon, Sword and Shield, do you read the voices in a British accent? Do you go all the way? They use a fair amount of slang, I noticed. <laughs> it, that's when you notice, you're like, oh, I should be, okay, okay, okay. I should be reading this differently. So cool. Look at this ice cave chat. Just gonna crawl around. Ooh! <laughs> he screams and we're out of it! Oh, it's so cool! Alright, so we're back out here. Man. There's the pillar. We're officially close to the pillar. Okay. Pillar represents our next crystal nut chat. Do you usually have character voices in your head when you read text-only games? Um, so here's the other truth about Pokemon, is that a lot of that dialogue, to me, is not worth reading. I get so annoyed by how stupid they treat me. And so I can't say that, like, for every game I'm playing, I'm doing a fully voiced character for that. Sometimes I'm just like, okay, alright. I'm speed reading it, you know what I mean? Like, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. You're so great! That's, okay, alright, I'm good. That kind of thing. Oops, I pressed R1. So I gotta be really into the game for me to be truly, like, giving each character a voice. Or streaming, obviously. But I feel like even when we're streaming, I'm not consistent with the voice. Ooh. Ooh, this is a new kind of cave for us. Nice. Oh, so cool. I love a cave like that. I love going into it, and then I love, like, turning around and seeing where it was in the environment, you know? Mmm. I really, truly like stuff like that. Mm. 
nice. Oh. Man, I really miss these a lot. <laughs> I think maybe I should butt stomp them more often. Oh, cool. Look at it from here. We were in there, chat. These hosers. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind killing these creatures. It's funny. They threaten Scrat, they gotta die. Nobody threatens Scrat. You like that waterfall? You know what? It's not bad. It does suggest the Ice Age is ending. Oh, we're getting very close. There's that crystal nut. <laughs> Doesn't quite hold up when we get too close to it, huh? Like, that's a little dreamcasty almost. You know what? I'm going to leave a lot of these crabs alone. No, I kind of want to fill up our next health chunk. we got to kill these crabs. We're so close. Probably 5,000, you think, we get another health chunk? Have we ever dealt with fraud co copyright claims? Absolutely. Um, that's definitely something to talk to Damiani about. He and Bloodworth deal with that a lot. Where people basically will copyright our music that they don't own. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, you use this cutscene from this game that I also did a playthrough of, and I monetized that video, so you stole from me. And it's like, no, dude, that's just the cutscene from the game. And YouTube's like, you did it. There's no way that this guy could monetize a video that he doesn't own, because our system is perfect. So, sorry, that's a strike. It's like, YouTube, what? Come on. Sorry, buddies. And then, you know, obviously it works out. They, they find ways to talk to YouTube and get things straightened out, usually. Oh, this poor crab. You do not threaten Scrat. Okay. Killed all the crabs. Gotta break this pot, obviously. Right? <laughs> And then, yeah, we're going to take this thing over there. Mars all day. Eight months. Happy anniversary. Happy eight months. Um, chat. I'm feeling, um, the fade. So I think once we get this crystal nut and we do the whatever cool sequence follows it, um, that'll be the end of the stream. Maybe we pick up with more scrap on a future day. I can't say I'd be opposed to it. Um, but as you heard, uh, next Wednesday will be Pokemon Sword and Shield with Dan. Um, so that one's already figured out, and there won't be a Friday stream. <laughs> they have a look of weird... Oh, oh, the double jump saved my life! Can you double jump, you stupid rats? What are you? What are you? You did. Yeah, I wonder if we could beat it in one more night, right? We would not have Jumanji to deal with. The thing is, chat. You know that I don't want to beat Scrat. I want to platinum scrap. So it might take more than one night. 
No. Okay. Yeah, he's getting good at those saves. Wow, we're so close. We just have to hope there are at least nine acorns. Oh, we did it. That was a little shorter. And heart to heart. I'll play it twice. Sevenurk is saying, it's my first Pokemon since Red and Let's Go, and I'm loving it. I love the panda-looking one. I'm loving what I'm playing. To me, it's actually incredibly nice to see people loving Sword and Shield. I actually like it. Here we go. I think there is something truly just innately valuable about Pokemon games, you know? Huh? Okay, so this time we're not falling, we're going through some rap- I like this! I like that each level has a cool ending sequence, and it's actually different from the one that we just played. Surf and Scrap. Oh my goodness. Oh, did we max out our health bar already? Oh. I think that's the implication, chat. Okay, we can jump. Confirm jump. Can we double jump? No. Nice. So there's almost no reason to collect shards anymore. Unless there's another shard trophy. That's a bummer for me. Because I actually liked collecting these and now they seem pointless. Tell me if there is another trophy for the shards. This rules, by the way. So basically, the world design here is... There's this area in the middle. And then each level is kind of like branching off from that middle world. And then after you go to the end of the level, you do this speedy sequence back to the center. It's really interesting to me, actually. I like it. And I mean, this is pretty Scrat-like, right? This is basically every little Scrat opening is him chasing some acorn. Hey, baby. After the cutscene. After the cutscene. power, baby. <laughs> it's kind of funny how overdone these cutscenes are, huh? What are you depressed about? Oh, yeah, there we go. The second crystal nut. Perhaps you are the champion of legend. You've been awarded the Scratapult ability. Use this new power to fly across wide spaces. Okay. Oh, that's fairly simple. Okay.
<laughs> so you just hit triangle. There's nothing else to this, actually. Ooh, you can double jump after it, though. We do know that. And so you probably can double jump and hover after it. Valuable information, chat. I think we can cheese some stuff later on with these rings. Oh, that one did not let me double jump. Okay. All right. Cool. Gotta be honest, a little disappointed. I thought the rings would be a little cooler. I like the slow mo though. All right, let me let's let's kick off the next thing too. Oh hey, this is what our pieces are going toward, dude. Game, you're being cool. That's so cool, dude. Dang. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to play a bunch of this game. He knows. He's gotten used to the pattern at this point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How much long is the stream gonna go? This is it. That was it. That was the end of it. No. Okay. I'm gonna go through these next four rings, and then I'm gonna end the stream. I've been waiting too long to use rings. Yeah, that's cool. So you don't have to land where the game wants you to land. Okay. Oh, and you don't have to be on the circle either. Cool, we did it. I honestly think the way he outstretches his arms, that like he just wants the ring, it's like ring take me. It's pretty dang cute. Scrap. Pretty cute. <laughs> Alright, Chatteroony, that's going to do it for this stream. Um, if you missed the beginning, Jumanji is not what I thought it would be. Jumanji is like a co-op PVE grind game where there's like five levels that you will grind and grind and then rank up. Um, the online for Jumanji on PlayStation 4 is not ready yet. It will be coming later this month. And so, um, you cannot progress in Jumanji currently. You can play offline, they'll let you play, but you do not accrue points to unlock anything. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy. That was pretty, pretty nuts uh, to discover that. Um, hugely disappointing. There's There was some fun to be had in the Jumanji game. I was kind of digging a little bit of it. It just went in a direction that they should not have taken that, obviously. Uh, and then Scrat's been nonstop love since we started this. Scrat's just been great. I mean, look at this guy. That is a video game hero. Scrat's a... it's weird. It's just kind of a fun game to play through. Extremely casual. You know what I mean? Not very challenging, but just kind of rewarding in its own silly ways. And environmentally interesting. Like, there's something that, like, engages my brain about, like, crawling through these environments and, like, seeing an ice cave and just going through, like, this waterfall area. Like, just... that stuff kind of sparks me off. I just kind of, like, dig looking, going looking through those areas, going through those areas. Um, just the thing I like in games, I guess. And Scrat has it. He's got a great personality. Daddy like. Optimus Daddy like. Okay, that's it, chat. Um, 
yeah, so next week I will not be streaming on Friday. I'll be streaming Wednesday night instead uh, with my buddy Dan. We'll be playing through some uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, and we're going to be like total nerds too. We're gonna, we have countdowns that we have. We're going to be giving scores to the new Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I think that might be spoilers on. I think the Pokemon stream, we obviously won't do story stuff. But if you're nervous about seeing a Pokemon you didn't want to see, uh, you might have to steer clear of that stream. Because I think we might be full on looking at all the new Pokemon by that point. Um, and then playing online too. So yeah, there'll be spoilers on for Pokemon related stuff. Story stuff will be cool about. Cool. Alright, chat. Oh and yeah, Tuesday's, Tuesday is Hall of Greats. So that's look, you can look forward to that as well. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for spending Friday night with Scrat and myself. Appreciate it. This was uh, It's fun to be able to stream stuff like this, honestly. Appreciate it. Um, cool. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And hope to see you around. Oh, and Monday is Gundam. Yeah, we're streaming Gundam models uh, building on Monday as well. So that'll be fun. Cool. Thanks for reminding me about that. I'm going to mute myself. Good wave. Goodbye.